So remember we reported yesterday about how there was a whole uproar, concern, furore about including international credit cards or debit card spends under the LRS scheme, which means they would attract a tax collected at source or TCS at 20%. Now a day after this big hue and cry on social media, uh, the government has issued a clarification. They say now that no TCS will be collected if a person spends 7 lakh rupees or less in a financial year on international debit and credit cards. This clarification has come from the finance ministry after much uproar. The finance ministry has acknowledged that concerns were raised about the applicability of TCS on small transactions. I'm going across to Sumit first for more on this story. Uh, Sumit, was there a realization at some point that this was just a bad idea because you're also penalizing people who've, you know, planned for a trip abroad, gone there using their credit cards or debit cards for normal activities. Why should they pay 20% at source? Was that realization then coming in? Well, absolutely. It came at a time when many people had planned their holidays abroad, many people had book tickets and they're waiting to spend money through credit cards. And it just came as a dampener for all of them. It looks like that. Keeping that in mind, uh, Finance Ministry now, they have revised uh, the whole thing. And uh, what in statement they have said is that concerns have been raised about the applicability of this tax collection at source to small transaction under LRS. And it has been decided now that any payments by an individual using their international debit or credit cards up to 7 lakh rupees now will be excluded every year from the LRS limit. So now limit has been brought down to up to 7 lakh rupees. That's what has been clarified now. Yes, yes, the pressure has worked. It seems also they have said that existing beneficial TCS treatment for education and health payments, they will continue. So yes, there is now a big climbing down of sorts from the side of government and issuing a clarification that now this TCS will be applicable to all the spends which are up to 7 lakh rupees. For many people, it is not that they cross 7 lakh rupees. For them, yeah, it's under 7 lakh rupees. For many spenders, it's under 7 lakh rupees. And 20% yeah, was not, a higher not amount. Not up to, not up to. This is important. Later, One minute. And it was clearly One minute. So wait, not up to, not up to. Over 7 lakh rupees. You pay tax collected at source if you spend more than 7 lakh rupees. Up to 7 lakh rupees, you don't pay any TCS. Correct? So you've put it on par or actually even better than uh, any spends on healthcare or education abroad. So that's a big relief. R. Gandhi, former RBI Deputy Governor, still with us. Um, the idea seemed to be, the idea seemed to be, uh, Mr. Gandhi, that, um, you know, you want to have sort of an eye on overspending in dollars or remittances abroad. Give us the context of this, why this happened and why this um, international debit card, credit card edition seemed to have been a problem which was then withdrawn. Right. See, uh, a country has an uh, upper limit uh, through which you can uh, utilize uh, foreign exchange uh, uh, up to the limits under LRS that is uh, there. So it's a, a kind of a mechanism to uh, monitor whether you are within that limit or not. That is what, as a reflection of that only, the uh, yesterday's announcement that uh, any um, spend through the international credit card or debit card will uh, be captured through the TCS mechanism. So that was uh, yesterday's question. But today, uh, what has come out is that very small value payments, when, when you are making pay, small expenses you make, that said 7 lakh rupees would mean it is uh, roughly about uh, uh, not even $10,000, a little less than $10,000. That would mean that uh, yes, small, small expenses, you go for a coffee, you go for some small tips to somebody, those kind of things, why it needed to be uh, worried about in terms of uh, monitoring. So that realization has brought on to the government to say that up to this uh, 7 lakh rupees value, uh, there, is, there will not be any need for TCS. But beyond, when you are making large uh, expenses, then uh, to capture into the tax uh, system, the TCS would apply. That's, uh, that's the way it has to be read. Absolutely. You know, Sumit wanted to come in with more details. Sumit, the only question here is at the rate at which the rupee is to the dollar, my colleague Sumit standing by with more information, the rate at which rupee is to the dollar, 7 lakhs practically going to be enough in a year? 
you're asking me well, yeah, sumit sumit yes yeah, sumit it's, uh, it's uh, for many people it's it looks like uh, uh yeah for for many people it looks like it can be uh you know again a mount which they are comfortable with otherwise they will they would be we can see once again a lot of uproar coming from many quarters and then maybe another uh, issue uh, release can be issued but till now it looks like 7 lakh uh, considering amount uh, want to be because many people coming uh, it in it's also per individual per financial year which can be divided by many people sometimes it happens that uh, a family goes out or uh, people friends go out so collectively it becomes quite a good amount. Amount it looks like, and that's why it has been revised that up to seven lakh rupees. This uh, this can this will be, won't be applied. This TCS won't be applied. All right. Uh, last, uh, you know, comment from you, uh, Mr. Gandhi. One of the reasons given for this was to uh, keep it as a level playing field. The reason that the RBI has actually asked for this, and the RBI is the one who issued the circular, was that to keep it a level playing field between different spends and credit cards under the LRS scheme. Uh, do you think that level playing field now goes away, or is it still there if those spends go above seven lakhs? Uh, I, I, I think that, that that will continue in the sense that uh, the small value payments when you make, whether through the credit card or debit card, or you purchase. Uh, Uh, a prepaid uh, card. So, or by way, you take, uh, you purchase foreign currency from here and go. So, uh, all those things, irrespective of the mode through which a person would uh, incur the foreign exchange expenditure, uh, similar treatment should be applied. So that that will uh, that will be fair to all the type of uh, payments.